Coach, is uh, Jimmy here? Is he going to play? No, he's, Jimmy's in uh, uh, Minneapolis condition. Do you expect him for the start of the regular season? Uh, the situation remains fluid. If he's, um, if he, by all reports, was confident enough to be able to go out on practice court and actually play well, um, what's the difference between him doing that and being able to play in a game? Well, match? there's, you know, there's a lot that goes into it, and there's a lot more to, you know, like a, a, a scrimmage in practice in an NBA game. So that's a big part of it, and uh, like I said, it'll remain fluid. Did you expect him at practice on Wednesday, and what, what's your take on, on how it went down? Uh, I did expect him there, and uh, you know, some things that have been reported are correct, some are not. So, uh, you know, and it's not uncommon uh, when players scrimmage that, you know, there'll be some talk, and so it was competitive. Were you pleased with that practice session and and uh, his t teammates' reaction to his return? Well, I n I'm never like I. I'm never pleased with practice. Like you're always striving to to have it be as good as possible. And there were some good things, and there were some bad things. So it's early in the season. You're striving on getting ready to play your daily improvement, and that's what we have to focus on. What sort of um, distraction has this been for your team? And because everybody's different, have you noticed any particular players that you've needed to talk to to stay? You know, don't let this uh, rattle. No, out? and that's the challenge of the NBA. And you know, every team is going to go through something at some point of the season. For us, it's early on, and the challenge is not to get distracted to get ready for the season. That's the most important thing. This isn't an individual sport, it's a team sport. And that's what we have to focus on. What kind of advice do you give your team to get through this with all this attention? Don't get, you know, like in the NBA, you can get distracted very easily. Every day there's something. So understand what's important, get ready to play, understand what goes into winning, and you focus on the guys that are here. If, if Jimmy does come back and there's no deal made and he's playing with you guys, are you worried that more incidents like that might happen and be a distraction to the team. As I said, some of what reported was correct, some was not. So was uh, in every every practice there could be something. And the important thing is not to get sidetracked and to focus on what you're, you need to do as a team. And so that's the important aspect for everyone to understand. So we're not going to get into like, you guys, for you, your job is the drama. We're, you know, our job is to get ready to play. So I understand you got a job to do, we have a job to do. And that's what we have to do. We're not gonna get into daily behavior and, and stuff like that. We know what we have to do in practice. We understand how we have to practice. Uh, and that's what we're gonna focus on. Would you like to clarify what was incorrect be reported? No, I'm not gonna get into all that stuff. That's, that's you guys, you know, I'm not answering to all the rumors and stuff that gets put out that's garbage. So. so what would your response be? I mean, he, he was pretty pointed in his comments specifically about Carl and, and Wig just saying they know that these guys are they've been elite their whole lives they have to work harder do, do you do you respond to them and kind of try to tell no, them about this well I talk you know, and to me like they're they're young guys that are learning the league improving this is a team sport it's not an individual sport so when you look at every great player in this league and for most they don't start off being great players there's a progression to it and so that's what everyone has to understand, and it's all about the team. The team has got to come first. Teammates, public criticism of teammates. Do you have any rules about that or any preferences that, that guys keep things in-house rather than air that to people like us? Well, I don't, I don't really know what you're talking about, but... Well, Jimmy's been critical of, of Andrew and, and Carl. Well, you know, and again, I think it's how you view, like, what you want to pick and choose, you know, what people say. So, you know, I'm not going to comment on any of that because he's also praised a lot of guys, and that's never reported. So, um, you know, I know what you guys are trying to get to, and for us, we just got to lock into what we need to do. What did you think of Jimmy doing a national interview right after that practice? It is what it is. It's, it, you know, to the, in today's world, you know, this is what, you know, there's, it's, it's a different world. You know, it's... There's all the social media, it's the accessibility, it's, you know, it is what it is. So, um, you know, I have no problems with a, with a guy uh, doing interviews, it's, it's what happens, you know. And, you know, you, I want the team to be first. What's, what's, what's your that assessment? Behavior, though? What's up? Is that, is that team first behavior doing something like that and then going on national TV 
and talking about it afterwards? Well, I, th I think the, the important thing is to, you know, we have to do what we think is best for our team, and we always will do that. We're always going to put the team first. When you brought Jimmy to your team, um, leadership was a big thing that was talked about. Is, is this leadership that we're seeing now? Well, there's a lot of different ways to define leadership. And, uh, you know, the biggest job of a leader, in my eyes, is to unite and inspire. And it's okay to confront. That's not an issue. I think the way you confront, that is important. But if you do confront, don't beat down. And so that, the, the big thing is to you lift people up. You know, you questions. make other people better. Tom, do you expect the impact of what happened earlier this week to have any kind of uh, result in what happens tonight uh, on your guys? And no, I just want us to be focused in on playing tonight, you know, our, get ready to play. And then we know that we, you know, the season started. You know, we, get, we have to continue to focus in on what we need to focus in on. Do you expect Jimmy to be in the lineup when you open the season? Again, that's fluid. But, but what's that mean? I mean, you say that's, that's day fluid. to day. He's, he's not suspended. If you want to talk to Carl, we got to get Coach out of here, guys. Thanks. Any questions for Carl? Carl has been confused over the last 24 hours if Jimmy called a meeting with you guys, some, some pushback from some of your teammates on social media that there was no meeting. He says there was. Can you clarify for us? what happened yesterday, if anything? I think the only thing that needs to be clarified is we're, we're excited to pick up a basketball today here in Milwaukee. So it's been a long time before we played our last game, so we're going to have fun tonight. Carl, how have you um, stayed out of the fray of what, what's been kind of a soap opera around your team? Um, has it been a conscious thing? Is it, is it just uh, somehow you're you disapprove of it, or are you just ignoring it, or how are you? How are you dealing with this? Like, like I said, I'm just we're just happy that we get to play basketball tonight here in Milwaukee. Get a chance to come out here and play for the first time in a while. Are you guys getting tired of having to ask, answer questions about this? I mean, the look says it all right now. Uh, I mean, are you tired of hearing me say, I "Want to play boss basketball today here in Milwaukee"? <laughs> you, you let me know. Will you be happy to pick up a basketball if Jimmy Butler is still on this team Wednesday night? I'm happy to play basketball with anybody. What Just, would you like to talk about? Anything that you would like to talk about? That we playing tonight and the season's starting, so we got to get ready. Other than that, there's nothing else that matters. Okay. The season is approaching. We have a big season in front of us. That's all that matters. We go out here and play basketball at the best, uh, best possible level we can. And every single night, it's 82 games. It's, it's a grueling season, so. Uh, if anything, if anything taught us last year, we got to start off quick. We can't ease our way into the season, so we got to come out uh, firing all cylinders. What have you guys learned about this team so far this preseason? In terms of you know the guys, I mean, we're scoring the ball again at a great rate, but we're not playing defense, so uh, that's a problem, and we got to fix that if we expect to be the team we want to be, especially this season. The West being so packed, so that's the biggest thing is worrying about what we could control, and uh, we could control ourselves running back in transition defense. We can control ourselves being better in pick and roll defense. We can control ourselves doing the little things we need to do and, and doing our job. So that's what we got to do on a nightly basis if we want to win. Carl, what can you say about that practice Wednesday? I mean, was it an uncomfortable situation? Was, well, it was what, practice. What, 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 what was the practice like? I mean, I mean it was practice. <laughs> we had practice. We, we practiced, we got better, and we left the gym. Is what happened in, out of the ordinary? A lot of people on the outside in the media are making a big deal out of what happened. From your perspective, is what happened unusual for Jimmy or for this team to have happened? I, I'm not getting your question. So Jimmy allegedly came in and he said he scrimmaged with the third team, beat you guys, the starters, and started making some comments towards you, towards the front office. Is what happened unusual? Is that unusual behavior for him or unusual to have happen at a practice? Or is it just a, a, a typical day at practice that maybe is being blown out of proportion? Like I said, we had practice. We got better. Everyone got better and we left. Is it, is it uncomfortable the way that you kind of carry yourself as lower key just to kind of go about your work? Is it uncomfortable being called out publicly, publicly in a way that you probably wouldn't take that sort of route? Is it uncomfortable to kind of have to answer these sorts of questions for something like this? Uh, 
uh, say it again, the spotlight came on. <laughs> um, just saying, you're, you're a lower key guy. The, the way you're handling this, the way you handle most things. Is it uncomfortable to be called out publicly in a way that you probably wouldn't take that sort of route to get a message across? Is it uncomfortable to kind of be in a situation like that? I mean, I don't look. I don't look at anything. I just go and work. You know, I, I just go and work hard. That's my calling card. I go in every day and I work my tail off every single day for my craft and for my teammates. So, last question. In his, in his interview with Rachel Nichols, Jimmy said he's hard on you. He's tough on you. Would you agree with that assessment? We just want to win. Simple as that. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good kid. Did you watch Jimmy's ESPN interview and did anything strike you in that as, as not in sync with your experience over the summer? Because you, you expressed shock that he wanted the trade. Mm -hmm. And then he said in the interview that he kind of let him know all along. So I didn't really even see the interview. I just saw little clips, but I didn't really pay any mind to it because I knew I was going to see him the next day. So I just rather have a regular one-on-one -on -one and just talk regular stuff. Taj, what was your impression of the practice Wednesday? Was it out of the ordinary? Was it? I mean, what, what was it like when he came back to the team? I felt it was like a, a normal practice, but it was it was new for guys. Uh, it was only our second year really together, but I've been around Jimmy for a long time, so we always had practices like that in Chicago. So it was always a good competition, and it, at the end of the practice, everybody just shook up, and we still understood we was teammates. In his interview, he, he almost made it sound as if he wanted somebody to challenge him, somebody on the team to come up and say, this isn't right. And he said he would have said, oh, you're probably right. But he said nobody nobody did that. Are you, should uh, someone have done that? If, if we if we would have... We got time for one more, guys. If we would have thought it was serious, we would have. But we didn't think it was is that serious. It was just guys being competitive and going out and in practice. I never thought it was too serious, but I, I don't know. I didn't think it was that serious because I was just used to playing against guys, growing up, talking trash, and having fun at the same time. Do you, uh, Thanks, you, you got, he's got to go. They're starting. Sorry. Thanks, Tom.